Hey guys! So I am here with a few packages. Let me show you right here. There's three of them. No, it's not from people watching. We don't have a P.O. box, sorry. Plan on getting one eventually, but just I figure we should probably wait until there's more people subscribed. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, I ordered a few things and so they finally all arrived. Two of them arrived earlier than I thought. All the packages are already open because I don't want to go through the struggle of opening the package on camera because I've done that before and it it, it took too long, <laughs> quite frankly, because I'm not the greatest at opening packages, guys. I'm really not. The first one is this. So it's my business cards. I've been meaning to order them for a while now, and I finally got the courage to do it. And so I opened them already. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. But this is my business card. Um, I'm a little disappointed with how it turned out. It was the dots, that was that was an honest mistake for me. That that was a problem with the file that I have since fixed for future orders. But the thing that really bugs me is the cut. So I've talked with some people about it and apparently cheaper business card places such as Vistaprint, which is where I got mine from, don't necessarily do well with borders because there is a bleed area. And so, my choices are either to choose a different design without a border, which I've already, I have several designs to choose from, or make the border bigger to make it a little less obvious, and I don't really like that idea. I've, I've, I did that design, made it bigger. Richie seems to like that idea, but I don't know. I'm, I would notice the difference. Even if it wasn't obvious to anyone else, I would still notice the difference. And so I'm thinking of the colorful part, putting it like a strip at the top, making the dark part a little bit lighter, and you know, moving the words down so that none of the words are in the light part. And so, and I've kind of spaced everything together a little bit closer. So hopefully whenever I do order that, it comes out better. But for now, I've got 500 of these. I'm probably going to contact Vistaprint, see if there's anything we can do about this, about fixing it. Otherwise, I guess I'm stuck with these. So, we'll see. I'll let you guys know how that turns out. See if they're willing to work with me, because I was not expecting that at all. The next thing I ordered, as many of you know, if you watch my vlogs, I constantly complain about my pinkies hurting. It's because of the way I hold my phone. See, I'm actually using the camera because I got the tripod up. But yeah, I film generally like this. And even if I'm not filming, I generally hold my phone like this. Or else I'm filming like this, okay? And if I'm filming like this, it's specifically because my pinkies hurting. But yeah, like I'm constantly having issues with my pinkies at this point because of how I hold my phone not just for vlogging, just daily life. So I ordered a pop socket. So, whenever I got the package, it's very thin. I was very concerned at first. I'm like, is there anything even in here? But it is. Get the instructions. And then I made a little design specifically. Ah, it came out good. To kind of promote the channel a little. So I'm not allowed to put a YouTube logo but it should at least get people asking, hey, what's that? And I can tell them, I have a YouTube channel. So I figured, hey, advertising, in addition to saving my poor pinkies, but I've heard that it sometimes doesn't fit all phone cases, and so I am hoping it will. Does it have instructions? There's the invoice. Okay, so there are no instructions. So I'm guessing you take this. Yeah. Yep, no instructions. There are no instructions in here. It literally just has this and this and the invoice. So I'm basically guessing how to put this on my phone, guys. Let's hope I don't mess it up. 
so they say that you can put it like down here so you can lean it like this but um yeah I don't think I'll be able to do that so I'm gonna put it right in the middle make it even Let's see how this works. Hey, look at that, guys. Hey, I can film now and just hold my phone in general. This will be much easier. My only wish is that I wish it were a little bit higher to fit my fingers a little bit better. But I'll tell you that it's definitely worth the like, what, 10, 15 bucks with shipping so far. Uh, again, I will tell you guys how I like it as, as I have more time using it. But yeah, that's my little design. That's what it looks like from the side. So yeah. And then the last thing I ordered. Ari has this thing about feeding herself. She's very independent right now. And so... <laughs> We figured, like, even whenever we're at restaurants, she wants to feed herself. And most of the time, they have breakable plates. And so, literally, the only place to put the food is on the table. And that's kind of gross. We've done napkins. We've done the whole cleaning it thing. But I just, I don't like the fact that we're constantly having to feed her on the table if she wants to feed herself because she's very stubborn. And so, we looked into the Easy Peasy mini mat and so let's see sections it sections to the table it comes in I think four different colors let's see it's a nifty little bag right. put that down there yeah, it comes in a nifty little bag and the zipper You can stick it in the dishwasher. It is microwave safe. Yeah, the little baggie, you can just stick it in there and bring it wherever. So even if it does get dirty whenever, you know, you're away, you can rinse it off, wipe it off a little bit, stick it in there and then bring it home and put it in the dishwasher. And cool. Aww. It says you're doing a great job. That makes me feel better. <laughs> it's also reaffirming. Yeah, it says thanks for supporting our small business. You're welcome. But yeah, we are really looking forward to this. We've been talking about getting one for a while. It's smaller than I expected. It looks like a little smile. Richie calls it Cookie Monster. He wanted this one because it looks like the Cookie Monster. Whatever. I like blue. <laughs> we, do, we both like blue. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, the colors were lime green, blue, gray, and red. The two small ones have room for two ounces of food, and then the big one has room for four ounces of food. And yeah, it's both a placemat and a bowl. And so, it'll suction. It, it should suction to pretty much every wooden table. Other than that, I'm not sure. Like say McDonald's tables, I don't know. Um, again, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this. So far, I am being hopeful. Like this exact one was twenty dollars plus shipping and handling. Um, I can put the link down below. Same with the pop socket. I'm gonna put a link to that. I'll put a link to Vistaprint. But again, I need to talk to them <laughs> about those issues that I had. But. I'm really looking forward to using the placemat because, as I said, she loves feeding herself and so it'll be nice to have a little plate just for her to bring wherever that we can bring home and clean ourselves and that she won't be able to break or drop on the ground because it'll suction. So, cross fingers that it works! Anyway, that's all for this video. Um, let me know what y'all thought. Which, uh, if, let me know if you have any questions about any of the products. 
um, if you have any suggestions or anything, again, comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. I say us, it's only me in this video. And then, <laughs> but yeah, subscribe to see more. We post videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday with an occasional bonus video. Anyway, thank y'all for watching.